Welcome back everybody. In this video, we're gonna be checking out another Amazon trail camera. Right now, there's actually a 50% off discount code on the Amazon link. Uh, I think it's, it's $60, right? $69.99, so half off is a heck of a deal. It takes 28 megapixel pictures, 2.7K Ultra HD video. It's obviously waterproof. It's got a two inch viewing screen, a 90 degree PIR angle. Let's go ahead and open this sucker up and see what we got here. This is the PH820 trail camera. Here's the user's manual. Okay, so here's our trail camera itself. You've got the IR right here. You've got your uh, capturing lens with a protective covering on it. We're gonna go ahead and take off here. And then right here is your PIR sensor. Okay, so the first thing you notice is pretty small and compact. It's got a strap loop right here in the back, or it's got a wire loop so you could put on a lock or something. It does have a, a spot right here that you could put on a lock as well in the front. Let's see how tight the clamps are. Okay, they're nice and tight, which is good to keep water out from the inside of the camera. Sometimes you wanna look at the actual seal around the edge and make sure it's all properly in there, which it is. It comes with a mini SD card, which is 32 gigabytes. And it takes eight AA batteries. So let's go ahead and get the batteries in. Okay, so we've got the batteries in. We're gonna go ahead and put the back on. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up with you guys right on camera so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, so right here is your, I don't know how good you can see this. There you go. Okay, so you've got your USB port right there, your on test, your off test on button. We're gonna click it to test. Camera should come on. Okay, we're gonna go to menu, and we're gonna go to mode. We're gonna do video mode, video resolution. We're gonna go the highest resolution. Video length, let's go to 20 seconds. Okay, audio recording on, shot leg. Let's go down to 20 seconds on that. Okay, okay let's go to time and date. It is 11 1 and it is okay, 11 10. Okay, and then I always format these SD cards no matter what. We're going to go to off and this camera is ready to go. Let's see what else comes in the box. Okay, so you got your USB cord right here. You've got a mounting bracket as well, and then you've got your tree strap. So that's everything that comes in the box. We're gonna put the tree strap on it, and then we're gonna go set it up and see what kind of footage we can get. So next time, uh, the next part of this video will be footage off of this camera right here. Thanks for watching everybody, and uh, hopefully we get some good footage on it. Okay, so here's uh, some footage I got off the camera. I got a lot of daylight footage, a lot of uh, in-between footage between daylight and dark, and then uh, some nighttime footage. And overall, I was extremely impressed with this camera and the quality of the videos here. You'll see this this one's uh, in the evening right between light and dark, and everything's lit right up. Uh, the sensor seems to be working really well. It senses... Uh, movement from quite a ways out. This next video here is in the pitch black and it shows how good the IR illumination is. Does a good job. You can see a deer coming uh, in the background there up the trail. But overall, it's definitely a camera that I would recommend. It's uh, pretty cheap and user friendly and 
takes good quality video and pictures. I've been happy with it. I still have the cameras out to the at this point right now, and uh, batteries are lasting really well on it as as well. So, if you guys are interested, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Uh, I'm gonna put a lot more footage from the cameras up on the end of this video here. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody.